Hello, my name is Carx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Um, in between episodes, I have just done a little bit of crafting here. Uh, the got the raw Lapidron crystals and some HV circuits. And before I get into that, uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but the magnesium chloride is a byproduct for when you are cooking up your magnesium with the uh, titanium tetrachloride. So you get the ingot and you get two of these magnesium dust. So you put two magnesium and you get two magnesium chlorides out. Now, if you put this in an advanced chemical reactor with some sodium, it will give you back three buckets of chlorine and it also gives you two dusts, uh, two of your magnesium dusts back so you get eight small pile and there is the chlorine so in the end you actually end up not using any magnesium you just kind of recycle it over and over again uh, by doing that and instead of using four buckets of chlorine you only end up actually using one bucket of chlorine because you get three back uh, in this recipe so just thought I'd point that out um, the eight small piles is a bit annoying because you can only do eight of these recipes and then the, the output gets like clogged up. And uh, yeah, just the way I have this set up, there's no easy way to access it. I can't put like a chest anywhere. If this was on the end, it would be different. Anyway, let's uh, complete this Lapatron quest here. So I just need to Put these in its assembly recipe, right? Man, I can't even remember. Right, it needs the one downstairs. Where's my. That's doing okay. Throw that in there. And there they go. I'm curious, I don't think this is going to use power, because I have powered that up completely, but uh, I am using more power than I am producing, yeah. So, um, these will drain. The problem is I'm doing this recipe as well, so I'm running 480 something and then I'm doing the the two HV volts downstairs or amps downstairs as well so yeah but anyway so that will get us the lapidron crystals and then we can cut these lapidron crystals which I don't know it just feels kind of bad all right they don't stack which is a bit annoying um, but what we're gonna do with these is cut them I think yeah so it needs to be in a blue I'm pretty sure I have oh that's how you get this is for the quantum suit which eventually will do but we're not quite there yet um, I think I have blue I don't know now that I'm thinking about it do I have a blue lens I don't have a blue lens. Okay, so what's what is the so aqua sapphire? Might have something over here. Yeah, I can probably do a sapphire. Yep, sapphire and a lathe. And that will get us that. It's going to take a little while. So this, yeah, I'm definitely draining. Um, I was running out of light fuel, so I had to turn off my second. Um, yeah, my second uh, combustion engine. And plus the, well, it's dropped down, but it was up about 600,000 with that running and a blast furnace running. 
Um, but anyway, this will finish this quest, and I actually do get engraved left on chips out of that, so that's cool. It just feels bad, because these are batteries, so, like, cutting these down, like, just kind of feels bad. I don't know why, like, it just does. <laughs> so there is that quest done. And I am for sure going to take those. All right. Now, there's other quests up here, I believe, but they are locked behind either this one or this one. All right, so let's take a look at the this thing. We add this to, oh, there's a few different ones, Essentia Circuit. I wonder what that is used for. Ah, all right, so that's how you get in your AE system you want to store Essentia. Fluid Circuit Tier 2. Alright, so these need a diamond chipset. And that's just a diamond plate. With the, what are these called? Chip chipsets, I guess? I guess we'll do four. Hmm, diamond plates I don't have, it looks like. I guess I can compress them down and just cut them. Am I that short on... Oh, I have 10 exquisite diamonds. I have a bunch of diamond dust. I think I can turn these back into diamonds if I want. Idney, yeah, implosion compressor. Alright, let's just throw this in my... Master cutting machine. So the we need. I'm assuming. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> um. Here. Yeah. So it's one to one. Yeah, and then it's okay. Cool. Although you do need the engineering processor. So if you want to store fluids, it definitely is um, diamond intensive for sure. 96 seconds. Now, do I have. I do. I'm just going to do four because it kind of gave me enough for four. Just from that quest, so I guess we'll do that. Is there? I'm not seeing any quest to make. Uh, I don't see any like fluid storage quests. Maybe they're hiding behind these or something. Yeah, I would have thought there would have been like fluid storage. Something maybe, but oh well. All right, so that is still going. Am I out of power? I am. I thought that didn't. The this is MV, isn't it? Yeah. So that's in my fluid extractor if I forget, which I feel like I'm going to. All right, so this should just go with like that. Yeah, so that's pretty quick. And then we add that to that. And then is it, it's that in there, isn't it? Did I do that wrong? Oh, yeah, of course. Needs to be in 
the other one. Now the other one is going to pull a heck of a lot of amps. It's going to pull almost four amps from here. Mm. I may need to switch this on to help out. I really need to get my power sorted. <laughs> but we're getting there. All right, so last one. There we go. There we go. I always burn myself on that. Uh, it makes me laugh every time. All right, at least this is fast, but this is using a lot of power. It was 1900, wasn't it? Yeah, 1900 per tick. So there it's draining. So that's why I wanted to put a battery in there. Until I can get like a battery bill for setup. All right, so there is my fluid processors, and then I can throw these in storage housing units, I think. Yep. So we'll just go ahead and not do that. Did I, do they have to be in their own? Oh, right, of course, that's not what goes in there. It's these. Duh. Uh, 1K. So this, I'll just do, I guess we'll just do, I'm just going to do the 1K for now. Does this have to be, okay. Do they need their own? They do. Um, can I just craft these? Is there like a, yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's the same recipe except for a uh, clear glass pane instead. So what did I need? Titanium. That's a bit. That's expensive. <laughs> and is that everything I need? Yeah. Might as well just throw. I constantly need these, so I might as well get those going. All right. Um, anyway, I have spent quite a long time on this. Uh, but it just feels pretty good to be able to store fluids. So what was it? It was hammer and screwdriver. I really should craft some to keep in the A system as well. All right, so there is that. They don't stack though. But that's not unexpected. All right. There we go. And I'm just going to put that in there for my fluid storage. And there's my main storage, just so I can keep them straight. And there's my fluid terminal. Now, I should be able to... I did everything right here. I'm curious if these cells work because I feel like these didn't work in my grid block series. Um, but uh, what do we want to? I have no idea what I want to even put in my A system. <laughs> How about we just start out with water to test it, and I'll I'll try this as well. Do you just, there we go. So this is the input to the output. Oh, that, they're arrows in and out. All right, so yeah, those, uh, the water ones definitely are bugged. Uh, in multiple instances, I've seen those not come back when they should have. Um, 
I'm just trying to think of something I could put in there. I don't want to. Yeah, well, I'm going to use fuel anyway, so how about we try that? All right, so if we do these, yeah, so we do get this back. It's basically, it's just the water fluid cells that are bugged. But anyway, there we go. There is fluid in my A system. So that is pretty good. Okay, so it looks like you just, if you want to get it back, you do that and maybe put that. How do we get it out? Is there any way to extract? All right, so that's what you do. It doesn't look like you can. All right, so that is a bit annoying. These empty cells definitely have some issues. Um, yeah. I wonder if it's because it's the um actually let me see if the water one will work with these cells no yeah all right so it's going to take me a little time the the cells do feel a little bit buggy in this thing um how do you turn that off is there any way to i don't know if there is any other way Anyway, so there is the fluids. Um, I want to, what I'm planning on doing here is um, I need like fluid. The main thing is I want all my tanks that I have set up, I want fluid input storage buses on them. Um, so there, I can store it in the tanks and I don't have to worry about filling up 50 million, uh, things of storage drives. Uh, let me, curious. All right. So one bucket is four bytes. So what does that, let me just figure out really quickly what's. All right, so the one case fluid storage can store 256 bytes or 256 buckets. So that's actually not as much as I was thinking it was. I'm assuming all the different fluids are the same. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I wish I could take them out with the fluid cells. I wonder if. Funny that that turns to it's not like a bucket of fuel it's a galactic correct core thing all right let's try universal fluid cells will they work all right those work the empty cells don't though all right so that's good to know but that does not go in there you can right click it but it doesn't go in the ender io tank so Oh boy, so many different interactions here with mods. All right, so let me figure out kind of what I want to do and proceed here, and uh, we will continue. All right, I have decided to do some more of these quests because I'm going to need them eventually, so might as well uh, do them now. So the block form, you just put it in a crafting grid and you'll get the small form. That opens up this. I'll take that one. And what is this? ME storage bus and ME fluid interfaces. This is kind of what I was going for. So I wanted that. So the storage bus is this with a piston. And I did put the piston recipes in there. I don't know if I have everything. No, I'm short some tin cables and some copper wires. 
Might as well just put a bunch in. Oh, I have. <laughs> That's right, I made sub. I need 10. All right, and then the fluid interface, I think, is just. What is this? So it's that. Ooh, I do need fluid storage components for that. Okay, that is a little more difficult um, because I need more of these. Um, which, is, I mean, it's fine. I have these. I can uh, cut down to get that. It was kind of... Yeah, I'll just make more of these when I need it. It's just Nergium and Lapis. Although it does require two circuits. Um, but I don't have any, I don't have like an EV battery buffer or anything yet. I'm like, although, don't remember what's going on over here. Do I have anything? I don't actually have anything going off that line. I could throw a transformer there and turn this into a but I'm not going to worry about that right this second. Let's focus on this. All right, I think that is everything. Nope, I still need more. Oh, wrong one. All right, so there we go. And that's actually relatively quick. So the ME storage bus. Oh, this is, I didn't need the fluid interface. That's right, I needed a fluid storage bus. I was confusing the two. All right, so. Fluid storage. The fluid storage is the ME storage bus. That's right. So I need this, which I have those. I think I actually, do I have all that? Most of it. Uh, don't I need to put like a hammer? Right, hammer and what's down here? The piston. Yeah, I need to craft another hammer here. Ooh, I ran out of those. I guess I could do more. I don't want to do. No, it's fine. Whatever. We'll just throw a bunch in there. There we go. So that will get me the storage buses. And I'm curious. I th I'm assuming there's probably a fluid storage bus off that one. So there's that. Yeah, so here's the fluid storage bus. Perfect. And definitely take the titanium. Now the this quest, let's see. I only need I do only need two of those, so I'm gonna make two of these. And what was it? Lapis. I don't remember how much is on this. Three? Yeah. So just an assembler, just these. All right, perfect. Now the storage buses, if you are unaware, you can place on a chest and all these items will show up in the ME system. You just have to hook it up and uh, that will do it. So I can actually 
just kind of show this right here. So why don't we just test this? So as we can see, there is no nether quartz plates in there, but if I hook up to my ME system, hopefully I have, I think I have enough, yeah. So now the cable, this is online. If I look in here, there are nether quartz plates show up. And if I break this, the nether quartz plates do not show up. So basically what I am planning on doing is putting these on the fluid storage tanks and uh, what do I want more? How about lapis? I'm growing glowstone, so that's like renewable. All right, so I have my two fluid storage buses. Now I want, I want export buses too. So I need, I guess we'll do, I'll do more of those. Look out, what is that? Or dictionary export bus. I have no idea what any of the open computer stuff does, to be honest. And then that is just these. Okay, so I need, let me craft this up again. I'm going to need four export buses. So I need more pistons and a bit of titanium. And there is the final export bus and fluid export bus. I'll do two of those as well. I think that is, I think that's everything I need. Yeah. Although now I need one more fluid storage bus, I just realized. So we'll do one more of those. I like how the fluid ones are just the item ones plus some lapis. I like that because that could have been really annoying. All right, so I'm not going to do those yet. All right, so three fluid storage buses and hopefully with enough smart cables, I, I hope I have enough. All right, so let's go underneath. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking I don't, I don't even know if I have enough. So basically what I want to do is put, right, so that's oil. Uh, let's see. So basically this one, I gotta figure out how I want to do this. Well, this isn't basically not going to be there, is it? This is what I'm replacing. Yeah, because I kind of need see well, that's not gonna work yeah I can't wait to get all these uh, removed uh, I need to let me figure out how I want to do this really quick and we'll go back all right I have kind of rearranged things a little bit I broke the chemical reactors that I was using let me just throw some of the stuff Away, so my bags are a little emptier. So I'm going to throw these two fluid storage buses on these two distilleries. And I'm not going to keep these here forever. This is pretty temporary. I may even move them in between episodes. Um, but I just kind of want to get this up uh, for this episode. And I don't even want it connected to this line or anything, but 
Uh, we're just going to do that for now, just so I have enough channels. Okay, so there is the fluid storage buses. Now if I go upstairs, they should show up. Yeah, so there we go. It shows up in my the terminal, but these aren't actually in my system. Um, so they're not, they shouldn't be taking up dry space. So as we can see, there's only one, one thing that's being used. All right. So then over here, what I want is we're going to do the fluid export buses. And as we can see, I put sulfuric heavy fuel in there and I put sulfuric light fuel in there. And I probably need, yes, is there any way I can get, I just realized I probably don't have a, is this, no, that's a regular fuel. Um, so I guess we'll just, yeah, just so I can get thing of it. Ironically, that's probably a quest <laughs> that I never finished. All right, so there is that's I'm just gonna I don't really care if I lose that. And I also need that. Did I get it up? No, I didn't. Dang it. <laughs> All right, and we'll just, I could throw that in the other thing, but I don't feel like it. All right, and then we'll just do that. All right, so there's those. I got the stuff for the filters. So the one in the back is the heavy fuel. This one is the light fuel, and I'll just add that to that. I wonder if I should have kept one of these as filters, just in case I ever need it. All right, so we need to get this over to here, so we'll just... Problem is, if I come out, I can't go across there because... Whatever. Um, we only have four channels on this for now. I am going to probably rearrange like all this, um, but let's just get this set up. And that's in the way. Let's just go all the way to here. Luckily, I have enough. So I guess we'll come down there. It's actually not as far as I was thinking it was going to be. All right, so that, yep, so six of eight. Now that should be pulling it from the other ones. Should be pulling it from here. Yep. So. These are being pulled out by the AA system and put into my chemical reactor. Now the last thing I need is hydrogen over there, which is my last fluid storage bus. And I just realized I need one more. Um, I need one more fluid export bus. All right, so that should put hydrogen on the line. And I'm going to fill up this. Uh, that that channels, but that's, like I said, I'm going to rearrange a bunch of this stuff. So we'll get another export bus. And then we will auto export 
the hydrogen into there. And I think I'm going to build into a room just for all my different fluid storage, because I think that's how I'm going to store all my, my stuff, I think. I'm going to do all my fluids in tanks, I think. Um, I have done that in the past, and I kind of liked it, so it wasn't clogging up my uh, ME system. Uh, so we'll do... Actually, let's change that was in the way. Put it down there. So I guess we'll just do one, two, three, like in a row like that. That should get them all. Put hydrogen in there. And then that should fill up my uh, the thing there. All right. So last thing we need is the correct circuit because that is not the right one. And I have two output hatches. Now I'm gonna probably not gonna run this quite until I get this all set up. Um, because I don't want it voiding. I'm assuming it's going to void if I don't. But all right, so there we go. So that is going to do. That will do whatever um, it has the fluids for. So it has, uh, when it has enough sulfuric heavy fuel, it'll do the heavy fuel. And when it has enough the light fuel, it'll do the light fuel. As we can see, it did the light fuel. And uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, the hydrogen sulfide is, okay, so we may need, now that I'm thinking, we may need a third output hatch, uh, one for the heavy fuel, one for the light fuel and one for the hydrogen sulfide. Uh, but anyway, uh, I will get this all kind of rearranged and set up, and then I will have probably import buses on these. Um, yeah, I'm not quite 100% sure how I'm gonna do this, but that's... Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do like an import bus and then have it on a storage bus to automatically export the stuff into like here. Uh, but I will have to kind of sort this out because this is not how I want all this to look. It's just getting like all sorts of spaghetti uh, with these cables all over the place. Um, but yeah, uh, I just gotta, I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna let, I don't know if I wanna let this run, but I'm curious if this is gonna it does void it. All right, so it did run one with the the heavy fuel, and since there was no output, it voided it. So I gotta, I'm gonna turn this off just for now, and then figure out what I want to do here. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.